Hello and welcome to the show. We started this week's Ferris episode with Elizabeth AK on GTA 5 being bullied by the army. And the army have done a very successful job of getting the car wedged. There's nothing the player can do in this one between the jeep ahead, the cars behind and that bollard. Yeah, not going to be a good day. Not going to be a good day whatsoever for the player. A Game Boy on GTA 5. This with the drag racing mod gets a big wheelie. Can't steer the saber away from the obstacles. Amazingly lands the wheelie. The AI comes flying past. They then crash into a lamppost, spin the car, and the player can still somehow just about take victory. NC Street Stalker on Forza Horizon 3 is trying to take a shortcut. Shortcuts are dangerous on this game as the Porsche rolls through the air. The thing is, Wheeler doesn't really know when to stop rolling as it continues to tumble and twist and roll. And it's trying to go for a roll record, I think. It doesn't quite have enough momentum. And when it starts working its way back up a hill again, that's when it uh, ends up losing out. But still, impressive attempt nevertheless. Sticking with uh, for the 7. This is the start of a multiplayer race. Now, Turn one can be notoriously uh, troublesome, especially when you see a transit behind you plowing towards the first corner. A car we're on board with is trying to stay out of trouble out wide, but in the end gets bullied into the tire bundle. A bunch of other cars managing to have a crash. Terrible, terrible driving from a number of people involved. The thing is, the poor little Mazda, not only has it been bumped into the tire wall, it's actually been wedged. Fully stuck. Wheels in the tire bundles, the car beached on the curb. Not such a good not such a good day indeed for that car. We move on to a need for speed payback next with well the police doing their usual thing. However, the player has a sneaky tactic. How do you deal with them? Well, you open a portal to hell. Yep, it, the, the Camaro has definitely gone straight to hell in all of this. Uh, it kind of phases in and out of existence slightly. There's a bit of a black screen for a little while. It will come back eventually. It's, you can see that the stuff's still running. The countdown clock still running. Oh, there, there's more fire now. There's more fire. There's more hell. Uh, it's not... Uh, not good. Not good at all. That's rather terrifying. Rather terrifying indeed. There's random volume changes as well. It's a bad, bad place. For, uh, for all that Camaro. Apparently the game does eventually crash after all of that as well. A bad gamer on Need for Speed Payback is also being chased by the police. Now, so far everything looking fairly straightforward. I was half expecting him to try and bump the cop car into the uh, tunnel entrance. In the end, the police managing to uh, just about stay ahead of all of that. Now, the car ahead is one of the EMP vehicles. You've got to really watch out for those. And it is a fantastically timed piece of driving by the uh, AI police department there to take out their own EMP car. Got to watch it again. The <laughs> player sees the uh, rhino coming. Gets ready to dodge out of the way. Oh, the rhino annihilates the charger. <laughs> well done. Well done, police force. Well done, indeed. Uh, Four-bit player next on Dirt 4. Doing the traditional... Well, I say the traditional. The perfect rolls. Now, we do see a fair few of these. You run a little bit wide. You clip the banking. There's a flip and can land perfectly pointing in the right direction. Very, very smoothly done. Very smoothly done indeed. Nobody told the Dawn of Dave this, though. As we head to Dirt Rally with a mini going too wide into a hairpin and making it stick. Not as smooth as the Fiesta. Not as smooth as the Fiesta. However, it flipped its way over a sign and actually was still <laughs> pointing in the right direction to carry on. So, you know, that's something at least. We move back to a Dirt 4 with the Lidden Hill Rally Cross Circuit. Now, many crashes happen at the same curb, but not today. Instead, it's a big sideways moment when the flip comes off of a barrier. And amazingly, the player actually makes up a position. It was a little bit of a um, catapult into the side of the Ford, but... <laughs> I've seen loads and loads of crashes, and we've had various clips back into this series of cars rolling off the curb at Lydon Hill. Not seen cars roll off the sign. Uh, up next, onto F1 2016 with Petrol Head and a very, very peculiar thing. So this is on board the player's car as they're going through 130R. Makes his way past Kvyat, going chasing after massive, a little bit wide out of the uh, penultimate corner. But either way, player car is trying to chase down the Williams when everything goes very bizarrely wrong. 
The player gets fired back into the pit lane and then disqualified and then broken. No idea why. Any of I've seen laggy replays of multiplayer, but that's that's strange. Either way, uh, next, uh, Franstaff onto a car mechanic simulator, busy admiring his Audi TT, loses control of it slightly on the drag strip, and that is a very very big flight for the Audi. Now it falls its way through the floor. Okay, is doing some silly things with the car. Goes to reset it. Apparently, while it was down there, it became possessed. That's not quite how a TT should act. It's not how any car should act, let's be honest. Uh, it does kind of still drive in a weird, glitchy, bouncy exorcist kind of I yeah I wouldn't want to be inside that car uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anywhere near I wonder if it went to the same zone that the Camaro ended up in fact we've had a good haunting this has been a good haunting episode it falls through the floor again as you uh, might imagine uh, that didn't get rid of the demons nope it's still doing it it's reset itself in a <laughs> middle of the tracks it's, it's not gone well and finally car fan 93 on a project cars 2 this is an AI vehicle already suffered damage can't make up if he wants to go into the pits or not. Tries, doesn't really get into the pits very well. Turns around, crashes into oncoming traffic, before then deciding the wall is the best place to go. Don't, don't ask. I don't know quite what the AI were, were thinking in all of that, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not a good example to set. If you miss the pit entrance, you can't just turn around and try and get back in again. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Failrace Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.